Hey, Sweet Pea, I have an idea. Since the power is out and you're a little scared because of the thunderstorm and you don't want to lay down and go to bed yet, how about this? How about Mommy reads you a story? You know, just to kill a little bit more time. Right. I'm sure the thunderstorm will be moved through here shortly. And you'll have a bedtime story to help you relax. You can sleep in here for tonight if you want. I know that you don't like thunderstorms and you don't like the dark. Mm hmm. But only for tonight. And it's back to your room tomorrow, okay? Okay. I did get you a new storybook. It is Little Critters. I know you love Little Critters, baby. This has got 10 whole stories in it. So, I thought tonight maybe we would start off with the very first one in the book. It's called Just For You by Mercer Mayer. This morning, I wanted to make breakfast just for you. Mm, but the eggs were too slippery. Yeah, it is kind of a mess, but it's okay. It's a thought that counts, right? I wanted to wash the floor just for you, but the soap was too bubbly. <laughs> Concentrate on mommy's story, okay? Come here, snuggle in closer. I wanted to put away the dishes just for you, but the floor was too wet. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, it does look like he has a boo boo. Mm hmm. I'm sure his mommy will kiss it and make it better, too. I wanted to carry the groceries just for you, but the bag broke. <laughs> oh, does mommy make that face, too? Yeah. Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> I ate my sandwich just for you, but not my crusts. Yeah, I seem to recall another little one who doesn't particularly care for their crusts. Wonder who I could be talking about. Hmm. Oh no, never you, right? <laughs> I wanted to take a nap just for you, but the bed was too bouncy. Wee! <laughs> what does Mama tell you? What are you going to do if you keep jumping on the bed? Well, yeah, you could do that. Or you could fall and bump your head and hurt yourself, right? Mm-hmm. It does look like she was going to read him a bedtime story. <laughs> I wanted to mow the lawn just for you. But I was too little. On his tiptoes. <laughs> You are so silly. I picked an apple just for you. But on the way home, I got hungry. <laughs> I 
I wanted to set the table just for you, but the TV was too loud. <laughs> I wanted to not splash in my bath just for you, but there was a storm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. And that's the face I make when I walk into the bathroom and see the floor. <laughs> That's our fun though, baby. <laughs> I wanted to do something very special just for you. And I did it. That is the end. You wanna give me something special too? Is it a big hug? Okay, baby, tell me. It's okay. And you don't have to apologize, sweet pea. Mommy loves to read you stories, especially if it calms you down and makes you feel comfy cozy. You don't have to apologize. This is what mommy does. Well, of course. And it has stopped. You're right. I hear a little bit of rain, but no more thunder rumbles. Can I do what? Sit here and hold you and rock you a little bit. Of course, baby. Just lay here and close your eyes, and I'll rock you back and forth. Run my fingers through your hair and tell you just how special of a whole little being you are to me. I love you so, so much, sweetheart. And I really love our time together. almost time for you to go to sleep now. So just close your eyes. You really still. And breathe in. And then out. And think of all the wonderful things we'll do tomorrow together.